What is the Mariana Trench? Hmm, good question. Named after the Mariana Islands nearby, the Mariana Trench is the deepest point on Earth, seven miles down. It's in the Western Pacific, halfway between Japan and Australia. To get a better look of where it's located, let's drain the ocean. This horseshoe-shaped canyon is the Mariana Trench. And the deepest part in that canyon is called Challenger Deep. It's named after the British Royal Navy survey ship, HMS Challenger, who first found it in 1872. Tectonic plates drive geologic changes like volcanoes, mountains, and valleys. And the Mariana Trench is right on one of those tectonic boundaries. The trench is sandwiched between the Pacific Plate and the Mariana Plate. 150 million years ago, the Mariana Plate was pushed down by the Pacific Plate, forming a seam. The Mariana Trench. So how deep is it? Well, imagine the tallest flagpole you've ever seen. 10 stories tall. How many would we need to stack to make it to the surface? 361 flagpoles. That's how deep the Mariana Trench is. The Trieste was the first deep diving vessel with a crew that went to the bottom of Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, the deepest point, in 1960. The first 660 feet of the ocean from the surface is called the Sunlight Zone. A wide diversity of life lives here. that gets no sunlight at all. So life seeks other ways to find food. In the abyss, the weird creatures like the anglerfish uses a bioluminescent lure to get lunch. And the final zone, called the trenches, reaches 36,100 feet below sea level. Challenger deep. Wanna go see what's down there? Down we go! The Sunlight Zone has all our familiar aquatic denizen like turtles, sharks, and dolphins. Even plants grow here like this giant kelp forest growing up to 150 feet tall. Like all plants, they use photosynthesis to convert sunlight into chemical energy. And as you can see, there's a lot of sunlight that reaches down here. Plants first evolved in the ocean and then spread to land millions of years later. Okay, let's dive deep. sharp tooth suckers. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're down to 7,000 feet. There's, there's nothing too big down here. Does that look like snow? Actually, it is. It's called marine snow. Marine snow, it's bits of dead creatures that falls from all the levels above. 
it can take weeks for it to reach the sea floor. And for many fish, it's snacks from heaven. But there are some weird creatures. Look at the middle screen here. This is the Dumbo octopus. They gave it that name because with those ears, he looks a lot like the Dumbo elephant. Oh, and there on the right, that's a vampire squid. It may look menacing, but its total length is about 12 inches. Like most creatures down here, because of the extreme pressures, creatures tend to be smaller, more gelatinous, so they can handle the pressure and cold. Okay, next up is the abyss. We're now 15,000 feet underwater. And a lot of creatures use bioluminescence to attract prey. The light is usually caused by symbiotic bacteria. The light emitted attracts food for the host, and the bacteria in turn gets fed by the host. Oh, we found one. This is an anglerfish. See that blue flashing light? That's the lure of an anglerfish. Let me turn on the spotlight to see him better. Oh, and look who else we've got here. This is a Pacific black dragon. Their bodies are dark black to camouflage any bioluminescent food that they eat. So they, in turn, don't get to be somebody else's dinner. We've now reached the trenches. At 20,000 feet, we're at the top of the Mariana Trench. Let's dive in. And there is definitely life down in the trenches. Mariana snailfish, sea cucumbers, sea squirts, and hatchet fish. But what about at the very bottom, down where there are volcanic vents, where the tectonic plates meet and spew sulfur and other toxic chemicals? Is there life down there too? Not only is the temperature just a few degrees above freezing, but the pressure is enormous. 15,000 pounds per square inch. If we had a closed glass container out there right now, with that massive column seven miles tall, it would crush it in an instant. Can anything survive this? Looks pretty empty. Wait, wait, over there, that white thing. Let's zoom in on the monitors. Yes, it's a shrimp-like creature called the sea pig. They're about four to six inches, kind of like water-filled sausages, but it's alive. Amazing. At 36,100 feet deep, yes, life finds a way to live even down here. So, does that answer all your questions about the Mariana Trench? Very good. Well, it was fun exploring this very unique place on our planet. If you have any more questions, let me know, and maybe that'll be our next video. See you later.